swear all the places. Guy who lives over there. Gig economy, bad. Character note, given. Stamp, go, go, stamp. <laughs> all right, we've covered all the conversations. Nice. We we're so close that the scoreboard for enemies killed is at 48, and we need to hit 50. We only have one side quest left, and that is to kill that... Monster dog. Kill that big monster dog that we heard about. That'll bring us to 49, minimum. Yeah. Oh no, the dog can... it buds. It's two dogs. It's a real freak of a dog. So if we take a look at our weapons again, Cloud's at weapon level 2. This level goes up based on how many skill points you've accumulated throughout the game. You don't have to spend skill points on this to make you up, it's just how many have you gotten throughout the game? Oh, you hit a certain threshold? Got it. You go up a level. But this level dictates uh, how many upgrade cores you've got for all of your weapons. Ah. So now we've got a second upgrade core here. Oh. And each further core has better and better upgrades in it, but they cost more skill points to get. Uh, later upgrade cores will start having more unique uh, passive upgrades in them. Mm -hmm. So certain weapons will start to diversify each other more and more. Like some weapons will start letting you take a lot more damage or certain ones will make your limit gauge uh, fill up way faster based on certain conditions. It's, it's a nice system. And I really like these new additions to the, the progression in the game, because while the Materia system was nice in the original game, without the Materia, all of your party members were essentially just blank slates. All they could do was attack and use items, and all their stats were just similar mm -hmm, enough mm -hmm. that they just felt all kind of interchangeable, you know? Yo, that dog's fucked up! This dog is absurdly buff! It's scary! <laughs> Too bad. And he's called a fucking rat Scope hound. that dog. Imagine just walking around and seeing, oh, that's a dog. Oh, no, it's a rat hound. They call it that? <laughs> so this big, beefy dog is weak against ice. Again, if anything is kind of mutated or just a little fucked up looking and not quite right, it's probably weak to ice. But the, the dog's mm -hmm. gimmick is oh, he can power through the majority of your attacks. He'll just attack straight through Let's stuff. Uh, he won't get pressured by most things. Um, certain attacks can very briefly get him pressured, though. That's the wrath that I've heard about, yeah. Yeah. So this dog can be a little tough to fight. He hits hard, and he just won't stop moving, and he's a little difficult to stagger, but you really want to parry him. So I was working on one of Chadley's missions here, using abilities on enemies that are staggered a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. You might notice the dog's health bar gets a circle with a, a line through it. Certain enemies, uh, they are scripted to do certain things once they reach a certain health value, and if that happens while they're staggered, they will stop taking damage until they can do the thing they're scripted to do. Rude. Rude. Yeah, that stuff generally isn't too much of an issue, but sometimes you'll get in a weird spot where you'll You'll stagger, like, a boss right before they're about to move on to their next phase, and you'll hit them a couple of times, and then they jump right back out of their stagger. Mm -hmm. The real secret is that this Wrathhound, mm -hmm. that's what happened to Stamp. Oh no, Stamp! You got experimented on. He's pissed, so make sure you're ready. So I'm going to slap the Ice Materia on Tifa. I usually don't give her magic, but I just really want to show hitting this dog with its weakness, but it's way too hard to actually do that in this fight unless I <laughs> use Cloud as bait. <laughs> Coming through. Out of the way. <laughs> so on top of everything else this dog already does, sometimes it likes to randomly flip the wrath switch on. <laughs> and get super pissed. <laughs> like his eyes glow red. No, You're really not going to be able to, to pressure him at all. He moves around way faster. He attacks twice as much. He might get an attack boost. I don't know. It's a bad dog. He's a very bad dog. Look, every dog deserves a forever home, okay? And if you do not provide one, this dog will fuck you up. This dog's forever home should be hell. <laughs> I got 
Yeah. yeah, my strategy for hitting him with ice is he has this move called Throat Clamp. He grabs somebody and starts just chewing on their face. But that means he stays still, so I kind of use Cloud as like a decoy to keep him still to hit him with ice. It's a strategy. Yeah. All right, yeah. I don't think it's one that Cloud Strife would enjoy very much. Eh, he was already this mortally wounded by a bunch of giant rats today, with a few extra dog bites to the face. And I was really hoping that dog would have buddies. Mm. Then you could have got your 50 monster goal. <laughs> Took care of the dog, did you? Phew. We owe you one. Gotta say, I've never seen a Shinra breed like that before. Out of curiosity, when exactly did it show up? Oh, today. The first reports <laughs> came in just this morning. Uh, why do you ask? Wait a minute. There's this crazy story about a Shinra research lab Whoa. hidden <gasps> right beneath our feet under the slums. Huh. Really? That's news to me. <laughs> Could have something to do and with that gate that Shinra guards won't let anybody well, near. <laughs> it's a big organization. I'm sure there's lots of secrets I don't know. Yeah, fair enough. You got the bastard. That's good enough for me. And he gives us an elixir, which is an item that just fully heals you. Okay, then. That's another solid gig in the books. You know, the whole town is really impressed with what you've done. I've Keep heard. Up, and you'll have enough work to keep <laughs> in this one day, they love it. All thanks to you. And don't you forget it. You chased Johnny out so of town. <laughs> the shop or Killed something? a lot of monsters. Yeah, but why don't we head back to the apartments first? Take a quick breather. Which lesson was that again? Lesson one. Scared a few cats, but in a good way, I guess. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's go. Whenever you complete all the side quests in an area, it usually unlocks some kind of new story event that you don't get to see otherwise. Mm -hmm. um, so here we're, we're going to do some more stuff with Tifa since we've done all that stuff. Uh, but I, I need to kill one more fucking monster. <laughs> yeah. Just one more bug. <laughs> Or three. <laughs> Nothing to it. You gotta be sure. Yeah. So this music that's been playing here for most of our time in the slums is the main theme of Final Fantasy VII. Mm -hmm. Didn't originally play here, but hey, we're spending more time in the slums than before. Might as well play the song that everyone really likes. The song is also getting these episodes blocked in Denmark, goddammit. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. I'm triple jointed. Would you like to see? <laughs> I've done it. I've developed a new materia. All right. So the new one we got is uh, First Strike, which when equipped, uh, it makes your ATB gauge fill up an extra amount when you first start a battle. All of your future battle intel submissions. Um, and when you level it up more and more, You'll, you'll get even more ATB gauge filled up at right at the start of battle. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. How about joining the watch? We could use a guy like you. Whoa, check it out! I don't think the number's ever gone that high before. Uh, you must be you real bored most days. <laughs> what a thing to be able to say. Thank you so, so much. We'll never forget how many bloodthirsty beasts you kept off our streets. In a single day. Ah, oh, smell that <laughs> fresh air. That's the smell of a safe and happy town. One you can be proud to call home. You deserve to look pretty. Have some earrings. How about joining <laughs> the watch? So for taking out all those monsters, we got some potions, we got revival earrings, and the big reward for 50 monsters killed is this MP up materia. It's just like HP up. Mm -hmm. It just raises your maximum MP when you've got it equipped. Uh, that first strike materia, not as good for boss fights since it's you get basically one extra free move at the start. But when you're running around doing tons of smaller battles, having every battle start off with like, oh, I can just do a triple slash right from the start. Yeah, really good, really <laughs> good. Amazing job. I feel like you could just retire. Like this could be the end of the game. You did it! Hooray! <laughs> Everybody loves you. There's another conversation over here that doesn't happen too often. Gotta admit, the watch is a lot more impressive than it was a couple of years back. Probably because of those vets who joined up after the ceasefire with Wu Tai. Maybe, but didn't a bunch of them eventually quit, saying they were done with all the fighting? So yeah, those guys bring up a thing that got mentioned once before, uh, back when we were first in the upper plate. A guy was wondering, oh, was this bombing done by Wu Tai? 
Mm-hmm. Those guys also bring up Wutai. Uh, it was a country that uh, Shinra was at war at in the past. Huh? Someone's back awful early. Not that I mind. Would you two be dears and swap your filters out for me? I left them in your rooms. Sure thing. Not so fast, you. Do me a favor. <laughs> I she need you to friend. answer my riddles, three. <laughs> friend. Uh, we're already friends. So when she talks, are you really listening? Thinking about her and her feelings? We punch bugs together. That's friendship, right? Or are you just going through the motions? Go on. I mostly think about if she has enough ATB to do a dive kick. Honestly. And anyway, if you could look around and try to find my sister's maiden and mother. (laughs) Sure. Come over when you're done. If it's not fixed by then, and this this PC port comes out, I swear to God, I'll figure out how to fix that blurry door. (laughs) (laughs) Mm. Man, now I'm a a plumber now, I guess. Mm -hmm. Switching out filters and shit. I mean, it's close to a roofer, so it's near your skill set. Yeah. Cloud's a jack of all trades. Naturally got a bit of talent in everything, except socializing, I guess. That's the trade-off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm here to be your friend. I figure I'd do that in your room where you sleep. <laughs> Give me one sec. I'll be done in a bit. Hey, you got a purse? That's cool. That's some girl shit or something. Punching bag? That's cool. I like that more. <laughs> Don't know if it would hold up against my sword, though. So maybe it's a square yellow speed bag. Mm. Air? I like air too. We are music lovers. Air is what happened when Supply left the band. <laughs> <sighs> Finally. <sighs> so, after you left the village. I'm done with being a friend. Goodbye. I you off the hook before, back at the hall, but not this time. Uh, uh. Hmm? Well, when we were kids, everybody wanted to be a soldier, right? Yeah, I remember they were on the news every day during the war. The Wu Tai War. Hmm. Ah. Yep. It's, it's all is, coming together. By the time I finally made it in, they didn't need heroes anymore. It was nothing like what we dreamt of. It was just working for Shinra. Just... It wasn't cool. You know what I look for in a power company? The ability to wage war against a foreign nation. (laughs) I'm sorry. I know it's a touchy subject. Not exactly small talk. Especially with someone you haven't seen in a while. I love how bright the window is. Like, you solved this entire town's problems before three o'clock. Yeah. Still, it's kind of And you slept in! Woo! Us going our separate ways, thinking that must be it, that we'd never meet again, and then hear of all places we do. You know what? We should totally celebrate. Let's dress up and hit the town. Really? Your day job, which is a night job, is about to open. I mean... Why not? It'll be fun. Do you even have fancy clothes? Do you, Cloud? Fancy things, (laughs) but I'll figure something out. What do you think would suit me, huh? Oh my god, the biggest decision in the game! What does Tifa wear? (laughs) Uh this this does change stuff. It changes it her her outfit at a certain point in the game. Um Mm -hmm. We're gonna go with something mature? But we will sure, see, we, we, sure. we will see all of these outfits later on. I'll, I'll make sure to record all of them. Something refined. Excuse me, the word was mature. Yeah, I guess we're not kids anymore. Be sure to pick an outfit that goes with mine, okay? I'll wear my finest Jinko jeans. Will do. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. You'll see. Yeah. 
Maybe. Figure out something that doesn't look like overalls, but made of clothes that aren't overalls. Time to head back to the bar. Come on. Uh, you don't need a break? Honestly, I'm feeling pretty good. Marl isn't always right, you know. Fucking 18 inch waist on that boy. <laughs> took care of the filters, so we're gonna head back to the bar now. Take care, you two. Oh, you're looking pretty chipper. Uh, I don't feel that different. Must be my imagination, then. <laughs> anyway, keep your wits about you, Merc. A token of my appreciation. Be good to her. Hey, lady, where do I go to get pretty? <laughs> you know anywhere that sells sleeves? I want to use a wallet chain in battle. Is there one big enough to wrap around my sword that's still fashionable? I need less dog blood on my pants. <laughs> <laughs> so we got these revival earrings earlier from getting rid of 50 monsters. These give you the auto life status when you're wearing them. So if you die, you will automatically be revived. Ooh. But once you're revived, the earrings break. Right. Yeah. And, and Marl gave us the Crescent Moon Charm. This is an earring that if the person wearing it is currently being controlled by the AI, they will take less damage. Ooh. It, it's a pretty nice accessory, especially early on when you're still learning things and you're taking a decent amount of damage from stuff. It's pretty good. Yeah, one, one of the like gameplay things I enjoy about this, this game is a lot of... There's a lot of RPGs that rub me the wrong way because I'm not super into like loot like picking up a shitload of loot and it's like oh this one is the same gun but it's 1.5 percent better or the cooldown is three percent shorter and like this game you get a lot of shit but it's all like unique stuff for like you read it's like oh i know a good mm -hmm. good situation to use this thing and you know there's there's only a certain amount of it you're not <laughs> you, you don't have to deal with a bunch of trash to get to the good stuff and here we are you must be tired same as you i guess could use a little something to take the edge off, right? How about a refreshing cocktail made by yours truly that you can sit back and savor? Tifa. Why are you posing like yeah, that? I'm feeling it a bit too. <laughs> hey, do you think you'll stick around a little longer? Maybe. Work for a minute, build up some savings. I see. I want to know what so Cloud's, what like, bigger goals in his life way? are right now. <laughs> He's just saving up money, but f to what end? Do you just want to get a nice house somewhere? What do you want, Cloud? He's saving up money for the operation. <laughs> His sister, she's blind. <laughs> We're back. Did you have fun? <laughs> Lots of fun. Hey, need y'all downstairs. Uh, right now? Then the plan is... Marlene, want to go wait for Jesse out front? Okay. Looks like we're officially on for tomorrow night, then. Gotta go over the details with the others. Before you do, about my pay... You'll get your money. So sit down and shut up until we're finished. Ooh, volcano Double bombs. Hmm. Hell yeah, volcano bombs. <laughs> you have to be able to get the high score in order to join Avalanche. <laughs> I'm really sorry. But it shouldn't take much longer. It's like the last Starfighter, the meantime, but with terrorism. It took Biggs four years to become a member of Avalanche. <laughs> What'll it be? Hmm. 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 Let's make the screen blurry and, and wooble around. <laughs> I don't know. Something hard and bitter. Like, like me. me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. She's going to mix you a cocktail. She puts one fluid in a shaker, then shakes and calls it a cocktail. This is just Mountain Dew and vodka. What the fuck? Well, 
Most people would say something sweet right about now. I'm sure they would. Ah, uh, but you're a more discerning customer, aren't you? In which case... She just shakes it and a new drink comes out, which makes me think that shaker is magic. <laughs> <laughs> Our house special, the Cosmo Canyon. Beautiful. <laughs> I gotta go. Enjoy. Also, that drink being called the Cosmo Canyon is a little reference to something in the original game that we won't get to in the remake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait another three years and maybe we'll see that. <laughs> hey, you see the news? The reactor bombing was the work of the eco-extremist group Avalanche. Public enemy number one. Gets your Why haven't we definite. seen her around town? Faces, so <laughs> we're in the clear up for to now, something. But we'll want to capitalize on this momentum. Speaking of which, you coming on the next one? For the right price. Oh, you can bet I'll be pushing hard for a raise. <sighs> Tifa will be joining us too, but I don't know. Even a blind man can see her heart's not in it. She was never on board with the bombings, so if it comes down to do or die, if I've got to put my life in someone else's hands, then I'd rather that someone was a professional, like you. Tifa punched a dragon in the face. Could still kill some time. So I'm imagining the reason why I don't see Jesse around is she built the the last bomb, and it seems like they're immediately wanting to bomb another thing tomorrow. So I'm thinking maybe she was making another bomb. Ah, uh, okay, all right. Yeah, she's like their tech person. So eggs and chips, eggs and chips. I just don't see how it could work. But yeah. You try to play something on the jukebox and it, it lifts you up somewhere else entirely. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I when I first played this, I didn't know you could go behind the bar. But there's these two Ooh. these two framed pictures, and they're actually the pre-rendered backgrounds of the outside and inside of Seventh Heaven from the original game. Uh, it's pretty cute. There's another Easter egg that's uh, very hard to notice because uh, on the fridge uh, near Cloud, there's a couple different things pinned to it. And one of them, the, the lower right uh, photograph, it's very blurry. It's actually a screen cap of a cast of characters from Advent Children, the movie that is a sequel to this game. <laughs> Why is that here? <laughs> it's a time travel fridge. I can't even say what one of the characters on that is because it's a character we won't even meet in this first remake game. It's nuts. Oh, it's the flower. Time travel fridge. The real deal, huh? What was up with that girl anyway? Yeah, where are those ghosts? <laughs> what was up the, what was up with those ghosts? Remember the ghosts? The ghosts were here last night before I went to bed. Oh yeah, and there is <laughs> Carlos number 49 or whatever or Marco, excuse me. Mm, gold time pinball. Mm. Play the classics, Cloud. Yeah. Yeah, we've been picking up songs, and uh, we can we can play these on the jukebox. Uh, you know how jukeboxes work? You bring your own music? Yeah, you bring your own uh, LPs and just jam them in there. Yeah, we'll, we'll play a bit of uh, Barrett's theme here. Barrett's theme, which is hip-hop to Chocobo. Oh, yeah. Um, I love that they made album art for all of these songs. <laughs> What's song number two? Hmm, I forget. But also... Uh, we got a little leaderboard over here for darts. Oh, Wedge, good going. Yeah, uh, I pointed out Narjan in the previous episode. He's in 10th place. <laughs> but he's still on it. He's still on it. Um, yeah, Wedge, first place with eight darts. So uh, clearly we have to demolish him at darts. <laughs> <laughs> You will have nothing to your name. I I solved all of the town's problems today. I'm going to be the best at darts. I'm claiming everything in this town. What what you don't know is that Wedge <laughs> took four steps uh, further by. <laughs> yeah. I uh, Earlier in the previous episode, I made a comparison to this game, kind of feeling like a Yakuza game. 
the darts mini game plays almost exactly the same as Yakuza's darts mini game. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little harder because there's a time limit to throw in your dart. The, the location of the reticle appears in a different spot every every throw, and that's like the center point of what, of your left stick. So like, if you let go the left stick, it goes back to that randomized position, which sometimes, depending where it starts, makes it kind of hard to hit the spots you want to hit. Mm -hmm. So I had to do this multiple times to beat Wedge. He's actually very good at darts. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, it's possible to, to do this with six darts. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. Don't get too excited about it, though, Cloud. So got to keep a cool exterior. <laughs> Take that, Wedge. No one can de de defeat me now. You can only tie me. Fantasy Oakley's ain't even on the leaderboard. <laughs> I was so proud, I went and printed and pinned up a new leaderboard. Hell yeah. There, there's actually a lot of mini games in this game, uh, which lines up with the original Final Fantasy VII. One, one of the interesting things about that game is, on top of all the normal gameplay, the game had a ton of one-off set pieces with unique mechanics and mini games tied to them to like keep things fresh. And uh, snowboarding, for instance. There, in the original seven, there is absolutely snowboarding, um, and like when they were making the original game. Basically, any idea they had made it into that game, which was why it was mm -hmm. so, like, bursting full of weird shit. Because sometimes there's stuff like, like, snowboarding's pretty weird. I don't know if that fits with our game. No, it's going in. Cloud will snowboard. <laughs> <laughs> On the sword. Snow sorting. Is that also a magic container full of whatever liquor you want, or...? I heard you're having second thoughts. I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference. But not like this. I don't want to kill the pizza man. I just... I feel trapped. Look at this sign, I worship pizza. If it feels wrong... Don't do it. <sighs> yeah, just let it breathe. Let the emotion <laughs> linger in the air. Because things are about to get a little tense. Guess that's that then. What, they kick you out? We agreed to disagree. So... You want another drink? Tifa! Time to celebrate. Break out all the good stuff. Oh, sure. <clears throat> we won't be needing you for this next job. Feel free to look for work elsewhere. Fine by me. That's how I like it. No contract, no obligation. You know what I want in this game? Hmm. Say that. I want Tifa to get gloves with a whole lot yeah. of materia slots. Pain. And you Along fill them all with different colored orbs. Oh, man. So she can say she has all the colors of the pain bow. Oh, shit. Business. That'd be really good. Gonna have to ask you to leave now. This is a private affair. A ghost! Shit, there's a ghost. Did anyone see the ghost? <laughs> Please. Sorry. I tried. We talked it over, but in the end, we didn't want to put so much on you. This is our fight. Jesse, Against the ghosts? What's the hold up? <laughs> Be right there. No hard feelings, huh? It's fine. Let's talk more after I'm done here, okay? Really, it's fine. Come on, Jesse, I'm dying here. I can't drink until all my friends are present. Sorry to keep you thirsty boys waiting. Avalanche! <laughs> Somebody beat my darn <laughs> score. <laughs> I gotta drown my sorrows. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> Damn, Biggs. Slow down. <laughs> keep it tight. 
Ain't no room for air come tomorrow. That's why we gotta get well, drunk in the middle of the day. Now. Yep. Best way to clear your head so you can focus when it counts. It's been too long since we did this. Not since we went on that all-night bender after HQ gave us the boot. Oh, they did what not the... give us the boot. It was an amicable separation. Uh, just thinking about it's making me mad again. You're getting a whole you lot of inside info for a group here. you're not part of. <laughs> how we managed. Well, I do. It was you guys going above and beyond. Thank you. No need for that, boss. We all knew what we were signing up for. Yeah, but when shit hits the fan, it's good to know you in my corner. Kind of looking day, to see if anyone else I works got. as the server here. <laughs> I want another drink. Happy to look me. out for you. Like I know you. I want to see how many me. colors can come so out. Long as someone looks out for my stomach. Tifa's got you covered there. As a friend. Y'all serve chicken wings. Choke about wings. Really He's not that ask. hungry. <laughs> hey, little guy. You need anything? Oh, <laughs> yeah. That tickles. <laughs> I guess it is kind of obvious. <laughs> You know, it'd be really cool if we could do this again tomorrow night. Oh, we will. Avalanche! Avalanche! <laughs> you heard him, it's on for Why sure. Why not every night? <laughs> yeah, you can just leave, you or you can let Cloud <laughs> fucking just sit here and just have no friends and be really pathetic. <laughs> Don't take this the wrong way, but right now I need It's a character choice. Thing. We'll talk later. I promise. Mm, feeling really left out. I worry about Tifa. She needs a friend. And oh, I, no. She's fine. Yeah. You better not be about to ask for more money. So what? Now you give a shit about the cause? When the job's done, we're done. Your words. I wonder if Barrett is willing to actually eat chips that come out of a bag with stamp on them. <laughs> or, or if that, that is against his values. We were all pushing real hard for you, you know? We'll talk. Jesse, you could just scoot in. You don't have to lean forward so far. <laughs> Let me treat you to dinner at my place. I can introduce you to all my cats. Oh, is Cat Corner Wedge's house? Too, huh? That might be Wedge's house. I'd offer to share, but, you know. Could get pretty dicey out there. Can't expect anyone but a true believer to stand tall if everything goes sideways. This is definitely Sorry. Hot Shots era Last Charlie Sheen. Absolutely. Man. Absolutely. <laughs> By the way, even though it's like awkward for Cloud to still be here, you can play darts right now <laughs> and destroy <laughs> oh. Wedge's record. You gotta make him watch when you do it. We just hang around here till he shows up. Big guy with a gun for an arm. Where it is he lives in What's this up with them? Just shut up and wait. We'll find him soon. Ominous now. shadows. Mm. Seems like the boss mm. always gives us the most shit-tastic assignments. Guess that's why we're paid so damn much. <laughs> what you doing? What are you looking at? We got a problem? Hey, I heard you all were talking about the only good dad in this whole genre. <laughs> uh. Hey, brother. You from around the way? I guess. No big man with a big gun strapped to his right arm? Heard he set up shop somewhere in the neighborhood. That depends. Ah. <laughs> Clever. Smell an opportunity to make some scratch, do you? Five hundred. Two hundred. Mm. Three. Whatever, man. Let's find somewhere quiet to talk. Walk with me. Gotta have a stride like this. Those leather pants do not look comfortable. <laughs> no, they do not. Got something to say? What? You looking at me? <laughs> do they? Do they rehearse this? <laughs> They're in sync. I said I'm so move. Sorry. That's that this person. Be good. Should I get the watch? This shithole's got nothing on wall markets. All right. You're going to to the sketchiest part. Like even the people who live around here are afraid of this street. Yeah. No, I don't think it's whatever Walmart it is. <laughs> Unless you got some kind of death wish, then be my guest. <laughs> After you, brother. And don't worry, I ain't the backstabbing type. Y'all better watch Most out. My friend days. Omni Rat lives in here. <laughs> So yeah, these guys clearly want to beat Cloud up. Uh, they're humans. 
That means it's probably uh, good to equip some fire materia right about now. Gonna put on first strike, haven't used it at all yet, but uh, it's... I kept first strike on almost the entire time I played the game the first time because it's just way too useful, especially for mm -hmm. random fights with uh, just a lot of weak enemies. You just wipe them all out <laughs> with a triple slash and just be on your way right away. Spill it! You know where the bastard's hiding, don't you? I told you before. That depends. Oh yeah? You wasted my time! Shinra's time, you mean? <laughs> Shinra knows better than to stick its nose in my boss's business. Like my boss shit. does very little business. <laughs> Hoodlums! Ooh. Unnamed hoodlum. <laughs> so if we uh, we scan these guys, best do it right. So they're all the the same enemy type, but they have some some variation what moves they have. Um, so these guys, when they get low on health, uh, or at least take a, a good amount of damage real quick, uh, they'll take uh, adrenaline, a combat drug, so they they can get all hopped up on that. Uh, yeah, like cats do. Exactly. Uh, and once they, they take some adrenaline, uh, they won't flinch from almost any of your attacks anymore, and they are impossible to stagger. <laughs> yeah, all these guys have some of the same abilities, but they all are carrying different items. So, like, this guy has a, a spider web item, which that icon to the right of it is the slow status effect. So if he throws a spider uh... web at me, uh, Cloud gets hit with slow, which makes his ATB gauge uh, fill up really slowly. This guy has an orb of gravity on him, which when he throws that, it casts like a magic spell of sorts. It's just a black hole that sucks you in. And as long as you're getting sucked into the center of it, you just constantly take damage from it. Yeah, thankfully they don't use their items too often. Uh, also, <laughs> all, all take that drug at the same time. They really do rehearse. This, this is a boy band, but all of them are the bad boy. <laughs> There's very little niche protection here. Yeah. So these bad boys hopped up on their bad boy drugs can't be staggered or anything like that, but you can still throw them around pretty easily with parrying or, you know, throwing a damn fireball right at their faces. Time to burn. Big man with a big gun for an arm, right? Uh, hey, this. Why do you want it? Just a grunt of all in order, you know? Nobody tells me shit. Let me walk away. Please! Hey, uh, can you do your dialogue faster so I can kill you? <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> so if they weren't Shinra, then... Not my problem. Lesson one for life on the ground floor. Get some rest. At least he is studying for that test that was mentioned. <laughs> Cloud takes everything extremely seriously. So Cloud seemingly knocked those guys out and didn't kill them, but this is also where the giant rats live, and I am worried the rats are just going to eat everyone's faces off while they're still knocked out. Ugh. I've crouched through so many things in a single day, I'm getting real tired. <laughs> also, I lo love that motto that has been said by several people at this point of like, you know, like the first lesson of the ground floor is to get some sleep. Like, that's mm -hmm. just the biggest cure-all for everyone down here. It's just like, do things suck? Just take a nap. Well, it restores all of your HP and Not MP. We owe you. There might be more on the way, though, so watch your back. Oh, living in the slums sucks. I'm just going to sleep through it today. <laughs> stamp, stamp, stamp. Sing about stamp. I've seen them around here a few times before. Pretty Something sure went down. Yeah, only one guy came out. Something definitely went down. <laughs> <laughs> you go by the big board and it says 56 now. Yeah. About Barrett and the other members of his By we listened to the conversation with these three ladies in the the previous uh previous episode, but yeah. They the those guys were here earlier asking other random people about Barrett as well. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
and the also they said people. that those that conversation with those My ladies she just said again to uh to referred to those guys as those creepy dudes from wall market mm -hmm. a place where they are from and compare everything to <laughs> yeah it's apparently a great place for criminals <laughs> welcome home honey are you a Took vampire your sweet time. Hmm? uh, uh, uh psych are you in the same idol group as Tifa? <laughs> Are you gonna let me in so we can talk in private? I want there to be like weird little sparkle effects every time they hit a pose like that. <laughs> yeah. Guess I'll get right to the point then. A rorb, rorb. <laughs> An apology for not getting you on the mission. Uh. Or not, what do you think it is? A proposition. Nailed it in one. Gonna have to ask you to keep all this a secret from the others, though. It's a personal matter. Something I need to sort out tonight. Tonight? Tonight. You and me, together. I want you to come with me to the Sector 7 plate. I'll give you the details on the way. I That's need to move out of apartment. Me, but I live in a third floor walk up. <laughs> Cloud. Can you can you give me a solid? If I don't deal with this now, it's only going to get harder. Anyway, I can count on you, can't I? Look, there's another thing I need you to do. There's a guy I'm dating. I left some really weird messages on his phone. I payment. really need you to go in there and just like swap the tapes in the machine. <laughs> <laughs> I could just kill him. I mean, you could, mm. I guess. So yeah, uh, Rorbs are summoning materia. They are Ooh. pretty rare materia that you gotta do a lot usually to, to unlock, but uh, they let you summon big fucking monsters and other godlike beings. <laughs> Doubt we'll be back before morning, in case you were planning on traveling light. Make sure you've got everything you need before we leave. I'll wait here. So yeah, the summoning materia that we got, uh, at this point in the game, in the original, you never would have gotten this. Uh, you didn't even get summoning materia in the original until a point in the game that this game does not adapt. So mm -hmm. they, they had to come up with a bunch of new reasons how you could come across this stuff in, in Midgar. Did you really take care of that attack doll? We're always looking for a man who knows how to swing a sword. Hey. Take your time and stock up on what you need to keep our streets safe. So yeah, we've got a decent amount of cash now from doing all those side quests and punching bugs that have money in their stomach. Uh, so we're going to get one... Bulletproof vest! Yeah, we're going to get one of each of these new accessories. Uh, they're all just uh, little 5% boosts to some base stat that somebody has. Um, good, to, good to grab at the start. Yeah, we're going to push Cloud even more towards being a magic build for now, so we're going to give him uh, the, the earrings to make his mag magic attack even higher. Mm -hmm. Again, it's it's only increasing stuff by a percentage on your their their base stats, not their total like magic stats, so it's not as big mm. of a boost as it could be, but whatever. But yeah, the summoning material we got is uh, Ifrit, or Ifrit, they say it differently <laughs> in different games. <laughs> Um, he's a big pissed off fireman. <laughs> Roll. Deals damage. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Um, so summoning materia also add a lot of extra stats. So on the left there, you can see a big boost to attack as well as defense and, and some other stuff. So even if you're like not really needing a summoning materia for any reason, it's good just to slap on just because of the stat boost. Yeah, yeah. Um, and summoning materia, you, you can't level up. They just summon a thing and that's it. Mm -hmm. There's a couple other materia that are also like that, where it's just they do one thing and that's about it. Did you really take care of that attack dog? You bet I did. There's one other mechanic that uh, materia had in the original game that they didn't keep for this one, and that was Ooh. once you leveled up a materia in the original game enough that it was fully maxed out, it would make an, a new one of itself that has zero experience points. So if you leveled up a fire materia to max, you would get another fire materia. That mm -hmm. doesn't happen in this game for balance reasons, I guess. <laughs> like, there's some materia that are so good, if you could get a second one, it would be overpowered. You all set? 
Awesome. Meet me at the station after dark. Don't be late. <laughs> it's just another job. I'm not making friends. I'm not making friends. Don't get attached. He's going to get real attached to Ifrit. Oh, yeah. They're going to be best bros. He's cool. He punches stuff real hard and he's on fire. Uh, so there's a couple little extras here, mainly the different little dialogue choices we had uh, with Tifa throughout this episode. Something sporty? I don't think that'd be so different from my usual. Yeah, that's why I said it. <laughs> I'm observant. Something exotic? Uh, really? Then again, if we're making an effort... Be sure to pick an outfit that goes with What mine, would Cloud's okay? exotic outfit even be? <laughs> <laughs> Not really in the mood right now. But if you were, then maybe... You're gonna drink this drink, mister. Uh, this is very much a thou must drink this drink thing. <laughs> the dialogue choice does still affect something later on, though. Just, you know, depending on what you choose, but it's just gonna be a while. <laughs> She wants to show off her magic shaker. Yeah, it's fucking cool. Makes her job real easy. <laughs> <laughs>